when an extreme event happens, there is always the question, what's the role of climate change? We are now able to answer this question for an increasingly large number of events. When we hear about climate change, it's often described as a scary future coming towards us. But now that picture is actually changing. Dr. Federica Otto, uh, you're one of the leading scientists on the field, extreme weather attribution. So tell us, what, what is this field, weather attribution? It is a part of climate science. And what we do is answer the question whether and to what extent climate change alters the likelihood and intensity of extreme weather events occurring, the events that are happening here and now. A lot of our science is done on events while they are happening or very shortly after they are unfolding. Because today, when an extreme event happens, there is always the question, what's the role of climate change? We are now able to answer this question for not every extreme event in the world, but for an increasingly large number of events. And how important would you say that climate change is for how the weather works? There are basically two ways of how climate change affects weather. One is what, what we would call the thermodynamic effect. So you have more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, so the atmosphere overall gets warmer. That means on a global average you have a higher likelihood of heat waves, a lower likelihood of cold waves. And also a warmer atmosphere can hold more water vapour and that water needs to get out of the atmosphere as rainfall. So on, on a global average, you have also more, more rainfall. But then there is a second effect. And because we change the um, composition of the atmosphere, that affects the atmospheric circulation. And this effect can be either in the same direction as the warming effect. So you have even more rain than, than you would expect just from the warming alone. But they can also um, cancel each other out or the dynamics can win. So if you, um, if you just don't get low pressure systems anymore that, that are conducive to rainfall, then it more or less doesn't matter what the warming effect does, it will not rain. The whole first six months of the year 2020 were extremely warm in, in basically all of Siberia this year. And we found that this event would have been almost impossible to happen without human-induced climate change. It was made at least 600 times more likely. And the at least is really important because events that are so extreme that you don't have much in the observational records that are anywhere close to the events that, that we have observed this year, it is very difficult to quantify exactly was this a 600 times more likely or 8,000 times more likely. The, the truth is somewhere in there. And so what we do is we are being really conservative and say, okay, what is the minimum? And that is the 600 times. Of course, it's true that wildfires are a very complex type of extreme weather. Um, fire weather is a combination of extreme temperatures and uh, low humidity and also high wind speeds. We found that climate change made this, um, this kind of fire weather conditions that happened in, in the Australian summer 2019-2020 at least 30% more likely. But it's also important to highlight these fires are not happening just because of climate change. It is also important to, to, look at, um, to, to look at the role of management and where houses, houses are built in order to, to deal with these fires. So what do you want to say to the people who still uh, say that climate change is not real? If you think climate change isn't real, then you basically say that the laws of physics don't hold. And if you don't believe in physics and don't think that the laws of physics hold, then you, well, you better never board an airplane again or do any of the other things that we are doing that are based on our understanding of um, the laws of physics. 
looking forward, how worried are you about, about the future and what's to come? I think the future is very much in our hands. Um, so we are not powerless to shape the future in, in a way that we can actually deal with this. We will have more extreme events and they will be more intense than today. So we need to adapt to climate change. But I think um, we as a global society have also done a lot of things um, that seem quite impossible. It just needs um, a lot of political will. <laughs>